Hey guys, how's it going? Been a while. You can't keep getting away with it. I've been engaging in some nefarious activities. Uh, let me take a look at my checklist real quick. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah. Okay. It's don't starve together this time. That should be easy, I think. Anyway, welcome to Don't Starve Together. 100 days, even. Oh, hell no, man. What the I know that's pretty crazy and out of the loop for me, but just give it a chance, okay? Also, I hate to say this because it's just gonna make me like everyone else, but unfortunately, it actually statistically helps. Just trust me on this. So I'm gonna lose a bit of dignity and say that a very large portion of people watching these videos are not subscribed. I'm not gonna show you a screenshot of the percentages because I have standards, but I guess you could just take account of my views and subscribers and calculate it yourself if you care that much. So anyway, I would appreciate it if you did subscribe. Alright, that was painful for all of us, so let's just take a breath. I felt like that picture of the ant with the sack over its shoulder, you know the one? Anyway, let's get to the video I guess. For the mods in this video, I use Simple Health Bar, Combined Status, Realistic Placement, Geometric Placement, and finally, Don't Starve Alone. If any of you play DST in single player, I really can't recommend Don't Starve Alone enough, because it just eliminates a ton of lag that frankly shouldn't be in the game anyway if you're playing single player. Anyway, it's time to play Don't Starve Together the true way. Alone. For these 100 days, I picked THE Woody because that's what the poll on YouTube decided, after I left a comment begging people to stop picking Wormwood anyway. Putting that aside, I was actually really excited to check out Woody's skill tree. He is Canadian, unfortunately, but I should be able to handle that. On day one, as per usual, I started gathering resources. Not much else to do, I wasn't going to be fighting Fuel Weaver or anything. Alright, let's take a look here. Goodness gracious. Hey, Lucy. Pipe down. He chops trees in 8 hits. Since when? Lucy's really hyping me up, I'm not gonna lie. I need to be a girl like that. Preferably not an axe. I mean, I can work with that. But preferably not. Oh, don't tell me. Bird trap blueprint. What? Bush hat? Okay. This is a good find. Alright, and that's it guys, I'll see you next time. I have a friend at a pig for no real reason. I have a friend and a... I love friend. You friend. That's nice. And I also picked a fight with a bunch of spiders, because I wanted to make some of Woody's idols. One of Woody's main abilities is being able to transform into animals, just like real Canadians. And I can use the idols to do just that. Mission accomplished. Where did my friend go? I thought he loved me. Yet another fake friend in my life. I really can't take this anymore. Well? I mean, good to know. I would get the terrarium later. I didn't really feel like getting my teeth kicked in. On day two, I killed more spiders so that I could make a goose idol. I thought I might be able to explore a bit faster with it, since the goose form has increased speed. Alright, well... Let's see just how well this goes. Do I drop my items whenever I do this? Who knows? I know stay? Okay. Okay, where is a good place to drop off at? Eh, you know. Here. Yay! This is one of Woody's three transformations. Also the most useless, in my opinion, but Goose fans feel free to tell me why I'm wrong. Its main use is being fast. And you can run on water, which is actually pretty useful. Whoa, hey guys, how's it going? Goose mode can actually last a really long time if you just keep running the whole time. Cry about it. Upon turning back, I was starving because one of the downsides of transforming is that it drains all of your hunger. So, there's that. Unfortunately, Lucy is no longer with us. Haha, <laughs> a walrus camp. On day three, I discovered that this place has a lot of walrus camps. Oh, please tell me. Give me a triple mac tusk. Okay, we have at least three mac tusks on this world. In fact, I think we're gonna have four. Oh my gosh. This place had a lot of gold rocks too, but it also had the stage. Hmm. Yeah. Can't say that's a good look on you. Another one of these? What? Okay. Yeah, defend the grass. 
for some reason I wanted to do the play, so here you go. Let's give it a let's give it a shot, right? Act one, yeah, scene one. Long ago in a land oh so far away, a strange magic filled the air. And a porcelain doll came to life. Ah. Uh, I can move my hands and my feet too. Is this what it's like to be alive? And what a big world to be alive in. There's so many things I've never done. So many things I've never seen. I must explore every last bit of it. The thought of starting a life of her own filled the doll's heart with joy. But not everyone shared the sentiment. You don't see talent like that every day. Thankfully. Ah, uh, okay. It's beautiful. Okay. Anyway, back to uh, being productive, I guess. That kind of felt like a complete waste of time, but who knows. I still have no idea what the point of that was. Anyway. After that amazing performance, I started gathering a good amount of gold. Hey Beeflo, how's it going? I haven't seen you guys in a hot minute. Ah. Uh. Okay buddy, calm down. On day four, I went back to Lucy after abandoning her, stealing from the pigs in the process. Did I miss you? No, not really, if I'm being honest. You got it, man. Stick it to him. I hope you guys don't mind if I have all of these. Who are you? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, that was a real good one, Lucy. I came across a mosaic bomb and finally got my science machine done. Add it to the beard pile. I swear I get one every time. I made the basic tools and stuff I would need, and I did a quick alchemy engine rush. And sanity is at max now. Sweet. You ever played games before? I bet you haven't. You've never gamed as hard as me. Then I had a stare down with this rook. What are you looking at? Uh, don't mind me. You're minding me a lot right now. Okay, see you later. Are we gonna keep playing this? Really? Tell me all about it. Day 5, I was going around the mosaic bomb, getting a few more resources. Oh man, if only I was playing Wendy. Oh well, not my problem. I dug up a bunch of turf because I wanted the cobble path for my base. It looks nice and it makes you faster. I also stole a child. <gasps> Hello? Yeah? Don't mind me. No, really, don't mind me. It don't mind me. <laughs> Finally. Took her long enough. She acted like she wanted to be my girlfriend. Who wants to bet the Lunar Island is over here? Day six, I got my first inspiration point. Ooh, inspiration, you say? What do I want here? Let's collect a little bit faster. How about that? I picked like the most mediocre upgrade, and I'm already regretting it. I also got my first hand wave, which was, um, a bit lackluster. Oh hey, this is also the first video where I get to deal with normal hand waves, crazy. The beastie is nearby. Indeed it is. Uh -huh. I'm not killing you right now, I can't be bothered. What kind of pit do we want? Are we thinking fanged? I think fanged. I'm feeling edgy today. I was still just aimlessly wandering around at this point. I'm really bad at picking base locations, and I also wanted a spot that had easy access to the Lunar Island. While I was looking around, I came across something amazing. <gasps> Chester. Why is Chester just in the middle of like a mole field? What's going on here? Hey buddy. You know what? Perfect timing. I'm gonna need to hold on to a bunch of stuff. Okay, see you later. Goodbye. Yeah, so I made another goose idol and went gooning. I mean... I went goose mode again to try and scout out the map a bit more. The, 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 the mole worms. I have no idea what caused this, but there's just a peninsula full of mole worms. I have never seen this many before. I've got like 500 hours in this game. Going into day 7, I was still a goose. 
I kind of just spent the whole day looking around again. I was still looking for a base spot, if you can tell. Nothing productive was being done here. Alright, we've got desert here. Very good. Ooh, Oasis Desert? Okay. We're being very productive. Yeah, okay. I was under the impression that I would toss off my backpack, but I guess not. Yep, Beakweed, how's it going? I won't be seeing you later. Oh ho ho! How's it going? Take that. Alright, Chester, let's get out of here. Clearly we're not wanted around here. Okay, so I'm not getting much done without a base, so... I think I'm gonna go ahead and settle down somewhere. On day 8, I was pretty confident I knew where the island was. So, I started laying out my base. Okay guys, y'all are gonna see something crazy here. This base is going to be a lot nicer than my other bases, since I was gonna be here longer anyway. This is basically gonna be my go-to design in DST. And I actually got it from Jake Yo Source's base setup video. Mine is slightly different, so if you want to see the full and actually properly done design, then go check out his video. Shut your mouth. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, there's spiders here, aren't there? Two of them. Listen guys, I appreciate it, but I'm gonna have to evict you. Shut up, Lucy. I'm not trying to have any neighbors around here. Let's see if I get a spider warrior. I would say that's a spider warrior. Yowzers. Oh ho ho ho! Okay, problem solved everybody. Now that looks nice. On day 9, the base was still underway. Lucy, shut up, please. I hate you so much. I got my alchemy engine down, finally. I've just had it in my back pocket for the past 5 days, don't worry about it. Anyway, the first thing I wanted to set up was a farm. After working on the floor at base a bit more, I put down a garden digamajig. It was going to be so much easier using these farms after using the ones in single player. I love Stardew Valley. What is your mental malfunction? How were you blocked by the dirt piles? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. I also started hatching a tall bird egg for some reason. I was feeling lonely, I guess. Day 10 was spent entirely trying to tidy up the base and get the farm going. Okay, this is gonna bother my OCD. It needs to be perfect. If it's not efficient, then I don't want it. Perfect. What do you suck at conversation? If I was these plants, I would die immediately. Quit acting up. Okay, let's take a look at these... things. I don't know. I don't play Woody. He kind of makes me nauseous to play. I just don't really like the French. Can't believe half of Canada is just spy from TF2. On day 11, I needed a fridge, so I went to the Mosaic Biome to steal the Rook's lunch money. Hey buddy. Are we chillin'? Luckily these guys are pretty easy to fight on their own. Their AI isn't super great. Shut up, Lucy, please. I also caught some bees for a beehive. What do you call an American bee? What? A USB? Honey is a great filler, and Woody's favorite food is honey nuggets, which are really easy to make. Oh, tonight's a full moon. Eh, well. That's mildly inconvenient. Don't apologize, it was on purpose, man. I lit the forest on fire for charcoal, but tonight was a full moon, so you know what that means. Alright, what are we gonna get this time? Oh joy. Luckily, if you stand still, the goose meter drains pretty quickly. On day 12, I was done fooling around and got all the charcoal I wanted. Stop that. Stop! Well, you know what they say. Anyway. Huh. I think I'll pass for now. What did you say? You said a lot of things. That's kind of the issue here. Lucy will not shut her trap. Where did the goop come from? 
Why so far away? Don't be shy. Day 13, I got my fridge and crockpots down. No more basic food for me, we are advanced now. Okay, well, two's good enough for now. Not that I have a choice, I'm out of materials, but two's good enough for now. I cleared out the area around base a bit for my B area and had a horrific realization. Oh, I know what the wet goop is. My, uh, my egg. Right, I forgot to buy my egg, yeah. It is what it is, really. I went out to kidnap a few more bees. Uh, I bet I've been sounding really far away for the past few days because I've had my mic farther away. Yeah, sorry about that. And I put them into a couple of boxes at my house because they work for me now. The bees have been instated. You need something, buddy? Back off. <sighs> From all the way over there, huh? Appreciate it. Heaven forbid a man tries to harvest his tomatoes, I guess. Hey, buddy, uh... Don't mind me. Alright, buddy. So this is 50... 52 hunger, wow, okay. That is crazy, man. Day 14, I absolutely ripped the hounds a new one. Something out there? I would say so. Ah, that was easy. I also secured another inspiration point. Alright, let's see. I carve boards more efficiently. Yes. I like the way that sounds. Well? Ah. Uh, okay, I see. Weird. Oh, I, I can't stop. I'm addicted. She wasn't lying. That axe can carve. Act tighter than a Toronto street car? It, it's just, it's crazy how much gibberish you talk. Oh wait, the Toronto Maple Leafs. That's a hockey team, right? It is. I actually have an entire channel in my Discord dedicated to the Toronto Maple Leafs. Take that how you will. Speaking of which, you should join the Discord. You can send silly memes and have funny interactions like these that I'm putting on the screen right now. Feel free to drop in and develop a parasocial relationship with me. Anyway, I went out exploring to see if I could find anything interesting, which I did. That's a mandrake. I don't really feel like having it scream at me. Eh, yeah, well, that might be fun. Yeah. That's about what I expected. I don't want to know how they got the sounds for it running. There's too many sounds going on. Listen to them run. You can hear them slapping after me. I hope you don't mind if I take this. It's not like he was using it, he was sleeping outside of it anyway. I'm gonna be so happy when you two die. <laughs> yeah. Music to my ears. No, don't apologize. Oh, even more. Four mandrakes? Okay, we are lucky. This is lucky. Poor guy. If only I didn't hate him. On day 15, I was still evicting pigs. By the way, if you don't know, mandrakes are unrenewable, for the most part, anyway. And the max that can spawn per world is five. So I got pretty lucky. Beef alone? Yes. Hey guys, how's it going? Huh? It was getting close to winter at this point, so it was probably time to go shave some beefalo. I could have just killed some to get a beefalo hat, but I was too lazy. I'm really sorry about this, guys. Y'all are about to get the worst haircut of your life. I'm sorry. Feels like my beard. That's disgusting, buddy. Day 16, I was on a hunt. You know, I've had this berry bush on my head for like the past 15 days. It might be time for a change in style. Oh, hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're enjoying the one flower I gave you. Try not to go too crazy. 
And I found the cool elephant right next to my house. That is a... A weed! I also started getting flowers for the bees since they couldn't really do anything. Stop sleeping on my crock pot, man. I set up a couple more structures, including a lightning rod, but more importantly, I made a think tank. I had some plans for winter, believe you me. I have plans. Y'all aren't ready for them, but I have plans. Eh, just get over here real quick. Yep. And don't mind me, I'm just over here, don't, no, don't worry. I can't believe he fell for that. This is my house. At my base playing Five Nights at Freddy's with the Shadow Hands. Can you step off? Day 17, I got my first giant crop. Big. I didn't even try to do that. Huh. I'm just that good. And I kept chilling with the bees. These guys get me. I'm not trying to say I'm the guy. But let's be real here. Oh, goodness. Food. I went to that set piece nearby and dug up some carpet, but this horse dude was rightfully mad about me pulling up to his crib. Anyway, you can't handle the heat, get out of the kitchen, man. Just how it goes. On day 18, I found yet another koalephant. I'm just finding animal tracks everywhere. Huh. He ha he ha he ho. No, no. Food wasn't really a problem right now. And you know what? My base was actually starting to look a bit decent now. I wish I could say I came up with it myself. We now have a friend. He will watch over the bees. He's my beekeeper. Welcome. Think of this like a tribute to the pig for my ocean video, which you should watch if you haven't. Okay, that was a bit of a rude awakening. I apologize. Oh, hey, here's the... Dude, can you stop doing that? Well, anyway. Day 19, I was going off on a tangent about something. You got a deep voice there, man. People on the internet like that. You should start a channel. I should definitely start an ASMR YouTube channel. What are we thinking? Are we thinking foot and Orbeez ASMR? Or maybe vampire boyfriend roleplay? It's a tough decision. Moving away from that, I started getting storage set up so I wasn't just leaving things lying around. There we go, everybody. Watch my inventory just magically clear out. I'll organize it eventually. Day 20. Someone cooked here. I made a bunch of honey ham in preparation for a little trip to the lunar island. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. I wanted to go to the lunar island, by the way. And right here in my notes, it says that I got more flowers, obviously. I don't know why that's something I thought was obvious when I wrote these, but okay. <laughs> yeah. I'll take a festive stocking cap. I think I'll look cool. Okay, does this protect against bees? Okay. I would have assumed that would stop them from doing that, but guess not. I guess when I fight Bee Queen in like a millennia, that'll be useful. It's a bit chilly out here. How are you colder than the outside temperature? Is it because you're wet? This is a problem, I need rocks for a thermal stone. Amongst other things. Day 21, it was now winter. Luckily, this is like Woody's natural environment, so he should be fine. I went out to collect rocks since I need a fiber for the boat and a thermal stone to keep me toasty. Bang. It was probably a good idea to get ice too. That is, if I felt like being at my base at all during summer. Alright. Well, it's time to go. Let's hope I didn't miscalculate where this is. That would be embarrassing. Come on, Chester. We're going on a trip. And so it was time to set sail. By which I mean row very slowly. Honestly, there isn't too much to do during winter. So this is the perfect time to do Lunar Island activities. I slowly and painstakingly rode throughout the night. And into day 22, where I somehow hadn't found any driftwood yet. 
but I did get another integration point. Hmm. Cane carving, you say? And of course I need charcoal. Well, great. Is anyone else feeling nostalgic about 100 days on the ocean? I'm sure not. As fun as that was. Um. Anyway. Gee, it sure would be nice if I found any driftwood. Oh well. Uh-oh. Please give me that driftwood. I am begging you. Okay. We're going places now. After sailing for a bit longer than I would have liked to, I finally made it. Now, I'm a little too sane right now, so... If you don't know how the Lunar Island works, it actually turns your sanity meter into a lunacy meter. It's better to keep this low so that the celestial creatures don't mess with you and put you to sleep. Why did I bring the hoe with me? You know, other than Lucy, why did I bring the hoe with me? Let's get down to business. I'm here for quite a few things. First is stone fruit because they're an amazing source of food and stone, in my opinion. Second is salad manders, and you'll see why. Third is glass cutters for shadow creatures. Those are the main things, but some kelp stalks and enemies would be nice too. Oh, I forgot about the mac tusks. Oh well. Uh, I'll get back in time. On day 23, I was just looking around. Ooh, bath bomb. Where are my little buddies at? Oh, even better. Appreciate it. Stop it. Thanks. These anemone things were basically tooth traps that reset themselves, and I really wanted some. Stop it. Better not disturb it. That's so true. Looks like I might have gotten cucked on the whole anemone side of things. Ow. Ah, uh, this is what I wanted. Hey guys, what's up? I love you guys. Uh, I'm just gonna start a little war here. Fight for dominance. Yeah. They're so silly. They were on right now, but after dropping that bath bomb into the pool, one of them should claim the pool and ripen. After that, killing it will drop a dragon fruit. Yeah, sorry, I know I said I love these guys, but a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do, okay? Can you guys finish so that I can kill you? Piping hot, hot spring just for you. Shut up, Lucy. Oh well, in the meantime. Okay. Why do you have to build your house right on this? This big moon rock thing is what I was really looking for. One of the three big moon rock things I was looking for anyway. I would need to find two more of these if I wanted to make the glass cutters I wanted. Although, moving these things might take a while. On day 24 I found another piece of the moon altar like five feet away. So that was nice. But the next one was a bit farther. Okay, whatever. There we go. Uh, okay. You know when white people say, let me slip past you? I thought I could pull one of those. Evidently not. I kept digging up stone fruit bushes and mining glass. I would need a lot of both. Then I killed the now ripe salamander. He's angry. I'm sorry, everybody. This hurts me too. Eh, well, never mind. Anyway. Aha! Uh -huh. It's your turn now, buddy. Whoa! These guys do a lot of damage. These guys are actually really tanky and do quite a bit of damage, which is surprising. I basically just bagged two free dragon fruit. So in other words, the only price to pay was murder, which really isn't a price to pay at all. Day 25, it was time to assemble the altar. Very slowly. My ears. We've done it. I did it. You didn't do anything, really. You better not be watching this while eating again. I swear. I can see it already. You're just sitting at your screen, glazed over, food spilling onto your lap because you're a slob. You disgust me. 
Now that the altar was assembled, I could start mass producing glass cutters. These do the same amount of damage as a dark sword, but with less durability. But their durability is doubled when used against nightmare creatures. So, you know, kinda niche, but whatever. Let's see about this. Well, we can rock a Terra Prisma. Tee hee. On day 26, I finished up with the glass cutters. I also made sure to grab all the moon rock before I left. I was a bit sad to go, but there really wasn't anything else to do here. You wanna hear something cool? Alright, Jester. Raise the anchor. Seems like enough swords to me. It was probably a good idea to raise my sanity though while I was here. So I started killing and eating all the moths, which is disgusting. Imagine what that would feel like in your mouth. Would it be like dry and dusty, or what? Would it be like... I, I, never mind. Oh yeah, I can make a cane now. Wow. Just as I was leaving though, I found a message in a bottle. Pearl! Oh, you're right there. Oh my gosh. Well, doesn't mean I'm gonna visit you. Cry about it. I would visit her eventually, but I had already had my fill of ocean fun recently. What was that? That's a shark. Woody, row faster, please. You really didn't waste any time at all, did you? What do you even want me to do about that? Okay. Well, on day 27, I was back and thoroughly done with using boats for a while. Alright, I've got places to be. I've got priorities. Mactusk priorities. I had forgotten until now, but since it was winter, the Mactusks were in town. So I needed to quickly go and run them back out of town. I think it went well. How did you even pull that off? I had more difficulty than I deserved to have, in my opinion. But I did get a tusk for my heartache. Hello? Game? Are we crashing? Okay, never mind. We're, no, we're, we're fine. Thought we were being silly for a second, but luckily that's not the case. Day 28, I absolutely squandered the Mac Tusks. I got another Tusk and even a Tam O'Shanter. I hate how passive aggressively he follows you, like he actually hunts you down. It's like, don't try and act like you're not following me. I know you are. Can you stop making the throat slitting motion at me? What is your problem, man? Yeah, that's why I hate you. Okay. Two tusks. Tell me about it. And that's a Tama Shanter. We're out of here. After all of that breadwinning I just did, I went even further and absolutely evaporated a hand wave. By which I mean, I just let some tentacles take care of it. If nobody got me, I know tentacles got me. And wave who? Never heard of him. Never heard of him. Are you taking a vacation? Where did you come from? On day 29, I got reeds from the swamp on my way back because I needed a birdcage. I had no idea Peking was over here. I guessed the map shape pretty well. He's not my king. Okay. Get over yourself, buddy. I see we don't like using our houses around here. Never mind, sorry for saying anything. Oh, time to get some cactus. Ow. I was getting this cactus in preparation for the upcoming Deerclops fight. I knew it was about to be time, I could feel it in my loins. As you probably know, Deerclops is a bit rough on sanity, so some cooked cactus would help a lot. Then I spent the night next to a magma pool, because why not? 
It's a little hot over here. On day 30, I got another investigation point. Let's start on the Wermoose. How about that? That sounds good to me. Excuse you. Excuse me, actually. My pockets were filled with cactus at this point, and I was starting to feel a bit bad for Woody, honestly. I also filled up on twigs and grass from all the native tumbleweeds that were just grazing around. Okay. Just a blue gem, thanks. Oh, it's nutty around here. Oh gosh, what do I want? Blue gem or the gear? Obviously the gear. What are you even talking about? What? Okay. I'll take both, though. After setting up my campfire for that night, though, I started to hear some questionable noises. Dear Claus, is now a good time to have a tantrum? I don't think it is. Okay, point taken. I thought you'd come on day 31, buddy. Gal? You're a gal, right? Let's talk this out. Your aggro range is quite small. On day 31, I went down on deer clops. That's definitely a walk cycle if I've ever seen one. I forgot they neutered deer clops. Ah, uh, well, I did get hit once. Kinda mad about that, but it is what it is. That was pretty easy, actually. But now I have the eye I needed for the eyebrella. Hey, buddy. Anyway. After finding Glomer, I got so excited that I turned into a goose, much like real Canadians do. Give me a second, Glomer. I'm having a breakdown. After calming myself down, I grabbed him and went home, completely forgetting the pan flute because of course I would do that. To be fair, the pan flute is impossible to see from this angle. Wh huh? Glomer must have had a lot of fun in this spot in particular. Day 32, I was home again, I guess. I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello. I'm back, everybody. And you already know, I made two whole canes. I don't know why a walking cane is in clothing, but... Who cares, really? Here, let's make some... Pumpkin cookies? As a side note, I actually made pumpkin cookies in real life recently because I'm a giant nerd, and they are pretty good. Glomer, can you stop bashing yourself on the ground, please? Okay. Day 33, there wasn't really much to do, so I got to work getting the things I needed for a Presta Hattitator and a Birdcage. There wouldn't be rabbits in spring for the Hattitator, and I wanted to turn my dragon fruit into seeds before they spoiled. Hey buddy, let me just... no, don't worry about it. Idiot. I was also fresh out of gold, which was embarrassing, so I took care of that too. Day 34, I got that MFing birdcage down. Where I try to make birds reform their evil ways. What is your deal with birds, man? Are you racist? Yeah, fantastic. I'll, I'll take some long gloves, why not? Oh my gosh, hello neighbor. My favorite game. Too close? Dude. I'm literally your landlord. I'll be upping your rent for that one. Calm down, man. Alright, let's get started on this bad boy. Top hat? Of course. That's a given. Hey, where'd all the penguins go? I appreciate the free eggs. Went to get the locks for the Presti Hattie, but I was met with resistance. Should've brought Chester with me. Chester, my beloved. He makes playing this game okay. He makes life worth living for. Oh, uh, okay. Well. Oh! Well. Are we gonna have an issue? It looks like it. 
I was really wanting to test out this moose idol, and since the three amigos were after me, I figured this was a good opportunity. Let's try this out. Yeah? Okay, this is a little bit ridiculous. This is just like the animated short. This was definitely working, albeit a bit slowly. Continuing on day 35, I was still slathering these fools. Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> okay, Woody, go off. Living logs, anyone? I made a mental note to use moose mode more often. I also got back home and made the hat thing too, I guess. Ho oh, ho ho! I almost forgot. Poof, I'm wiping sweat from my brow right now. Ugh. Hey man, I like garlic. That would have made my sanity go to max. And then I spent the night getting the bull kelp set up. If you don't know, you can actually place all of your bull kelp in a line and push it into one spot, which makes harvesting it infinitely easier. And by the way, if you're wondering what that weird yellow radius was, I had a mod that showed the lightning rod range on when I played with friends and forgot to turn it off. Skitter Squids, what do you think you're doing? Hello? How's it going? Yeah, I'm just, you know, doing things with my seaweed. Thanks for dropping by. I love those little guys, they're so silly. On day 36, if you can't tell by the change in hue, it's spring now, and I was a man with wood on my mind. For storage. Come on, Chester, we've got things to do. And one of them is to find bones. I, I'd kind of like to make an eyebrella at some point. That was a wee bit monkey. Monkey? I think it was about time I took the beaver out for a spin. Yet, yeah, I ended up chopping trees all day. Just gonna be at this for a while, I guess. By the time beer mode was over, I had taken out a pretty big chunk of the forest. Unfortunately, all of these logs actually needed to be picked up. The consequences of my actions. Day 37. You're gonna laugh, but I was still picking up all the logs. Okay, well, I I, I don't have enough inventory for this. This is ridiculous. So is it? What's up, Glomer? I love you. Keep flapping, little guy. Woody is just so friendly. Using the forest supply of logs I just got, I could actually get started on some proper storage now. Okay, now I may have gone a little balls to the walls if I'm being honest. Alright, well, uh, I'm gonna say that's probably enough storage space for a while. Or forever, hopefully. I don't know, I'm not mega basing. On day 38, a hound wave came to call me mean words, but my bees straightened them out. Here you go. I think the bees want to have a talk with you. Get him! No, he froze my bees! How dare you! I'm trying to help you! Whatever, man. Get over yourself. I also planted all the seeds I had been saving since they should grow pretty well and fast in spring. Day 39, I actually had some plants coming up that required more pigskin, so I started turning the pigs into pigs. Alright, where are the pigs at? I need to do some experimentation. By which I mean... Transmutation. By which I mean mutation. Sorry about this. Sorry buddy, it was you or me. That's not true at all, what? I'm just saying things at this point. Now why am I doing this, you may ask? IDK. Uh, it's funny. And... I need some more hand bats. Alright, thank you. For those of you that are experienced, you might know what I'm about to be doing. Uh, cause there's gonna be something in this season that's gonna be really important for later. I'm talking like, end game. And it comes down to a little... Well, not really little, but, you know, some lightning protection would be nice. I should probably get the eyebrella first. I also really needed an eyebrella because the rain was going to start tanking my sanity pretty soon. Unfortunately, I didn't have the bone shards, so I got on that. How long am I going to have these stone fruit bushes before I actually plant them? Who knows? 
Moment of truth. I thought I might be able to get the rest of them from the desert, and decided I would try out a few of the wormholes close by. There ain't no way. Oh my gosh, I am... It's just crazy how intelligent I am. Day 40, I got another interrogation point. Uh, let's get my transformations to last a bit longer, I guess. I mean, that'll hopefully be useful and not a detriment. I actually got the bones I needed from yet another set piece with a rook. And of course, it was already raining. But as per usual, my life is nothing but suffering. Because it wasn't just normal rain, it was frog rain. Luckily, I had a solution where everyone wins, excluding everyone but me. I just had to incite a gang war between the pigs and frogs. This is how real businessmen handle problems. They turn it in their favor. Feel free to reach out for more tips and tricks. If I was in moose form right now, it'd be done for all of you. Don't mind me. I said don't mind me. Oh, they're bouncing around everywhere. Maybe take care of your family being killed right now. Thank you. This works too, I guess. I'm sane! Go away. Whatever, man. I know when I'm not wanted. At home, I stretched out Deerclops' eyeball and put it on my head. I don't know why I couldn't just do this with anything else. Like, I could just put an umbrella on my head, but no, it has to be the eyeball specifically. It's pretty metal, I guess, but still. Day 41, it was time to start going down on Moose Goose. But not before planting my stone fruit. It was a bit pointless to talk about how good they are and then just forget to plant them. If I had any sanity food, it'd be over for all of you. That's mine. Oh, I forgot to grab healing. Eh, whatever. I'm probably good enough to not need it. Famous last words, but you know. There you go. Now you guys don't have to watch a monochrome moose goose fight. You still damaged from earlier? Ah, oh, poor guy. Okay, rude. Hello? <laughs> Goodbye. If you heal after that, I'm gonna be so mad. Did you heal? Ah, oh, I hate you so much. Okay. There isn't a whole lot to say about fighting Moose Goose. You're basically seeing the extent of it. She attacks three times, then she screams. But for some reason, she gets off pattern and acts a bit funky sometimes. As far as I know, just pray that she's consistent. You just broke your pattern so hard. Try to have a consistent pattern impossible challenge. That was three hits and then a not scream? What? I hate you so much. Do I want to fight the Mosslings during nighttime? No. Mwah. Idiot. Why are you even allowed to do that? Aw, oh, sleepyhead. Sleepyhead! On day 42, I killed Moose Mommy, and now I had to deal with her spawn. Alright, time to go! Goodness. I don't want to kill you while you're on fire. <laughs> okay, let me just swing and a miss. Why did that not let me hit? Okay, I, I didn't want those feathers anyway, I guess. <laughs> Please! Here's some advice. If they're starting to spin, do not attack them. They turn immune. Why? I, I don't know. Because... Okay, well... I've never had trouble with that fight until now. Okay. Due to Moose Goose just deciding not to follow her pattern and the babies just being funky. Okay, thank you for that. I was seething a little after that one, not gonna lie. It is what it is, though. Might as well restart the 100 days at this point. I haven't done much. 
After all that, I also got a visitor that I had been waiting for. We're getting... Oh, the, oh, the hardest boss is here. Uh-oh. Quit it. Uh-oh. She might get me, you know. The Lord of the Fruit Flies was a bit hard to deal with, actually. Its movement was a bit sporadic and hard to deal with. Oh my gosh, you're annoying. You're so, so hard to hit. Stop it. Okay. I get it. Oh. Friendly fruit fly. Thank goodness. My little fruit fly is really snoring away. Day 43, I stuck around base harvesting and cooking up some stuff. Also getting really emotional about pierogi for some reason. Oh gosh, I'm gonna feel so bad about doing this. Please avert your eyes. Okay, let me eat the pierogi. Ugh, I hate it so much. I hate the meta. It's disgusting. Oh, I, I feel gross. I feel gross. That is so... Oh my gosh. I, I absolutely hate that pierogi is such a good food source. I don't know why. It's just, it's too easy. It's too easy. It makes me feel bad about myself. I've clearly got a hang up or something. Day 44, I had violent thoughts on my mind. Now you might be wondering, Ashton, why would you intentionally summon the Lord of the Fruit Flies? Well, yeah. However, it's because this little uh, fruit fly guy here will talk to your plants for you and keep them very happy. And I want my dragon fruit to be very happy. In the meantime, um, let's go find some more moose goose, you know? I'm very pleased to say this next fight went a lot better than the last one. I'm gonna get you. Give me a second, I'm getting ready. Thanks. Day 45, Moose Goose was down again, and the orphans came back for another round. Hey oh, no hit. Oh my oh. <laughs> Okay, see, yeah, that time was a no-hit. That's how it usually goes. At least I, I want you to think that's how it usually goes. Okay? That fight went pretty much flawlessly, and my spirits were restored. That's how I roll. Hope I don't have a wood shortage. Uh, okay. We know how to deal with your kind around here. I didn't really feel like dealing with these guys, so I just planted some cones to stop their tantrum. Look at me, I love trees. Yeah, plant yourself, buddy. Day 46. If you wanted to know what the feathers are for, they're for weather panes. Unless you thought I was just wanting to make a bunch of luxury fans or something. I started heading to the mosaic biome for a few reasons. I even made a presentation for it. First, I wanted rocky well, turf, because I wanted to make cobblestone floors for my base. Unbeknownst to me, they apparently changed the cobblestone recipe at some point, so this was a complete waste of time. Second, I wanted to dig up graves for trinkets and a blue gem. Unbeknownst to me, I already had a blue gem back at home. So in other words, this trip was a complete waste of time. I started on another reason in my notes here, but I must have gotten distracted because it just cuts off. So, here's a filler slide. On day 47, the game must have hated me because I still had no blue gems. I was also very insane, and I was seeing nightmare creatures, much like real Canadians. Honestly, I was getting blue balled so hard that if you shined a black light on them, they'd probably start glowing. If only I were Wilson P. Higsbury, I could just transmute the gems, but unfortunately we're Canadian, so we'll just have to live with that. 
Wow, that pathway is incredible. On the bright side of all of this, Grave Robbing gave me a lot of gold. Keep it tight. Well, I'm a lot of things, but a quitter is not one of them. Most of the time. On day 48, I spent the entire day trying to get a blue gem. Keep in mind, I already have one. I guess I was getting a lot of nightmare fuel, which was good, because I was going to need a lot of it soon. But luckily, after all the blue gem edging, the game finally gave it to me. There, suck my hand bat. I don't even care, man. Watch me already have a blue gym in a chest that I just forgot about or something. Looks like now is a good time for tea. What do you have to say about this? Almost makes me forget where I am. Okay, this might be a psychedelic. On day 49, I was expanding my dragon fruit farm while trying to get the dirt mounds in the right position for an embarrassingly long amount of time. I don't want to talk about it. Aside from that, I got my very first stone fruit harvest. And these bushes give you three fruit per harvest, which is very nice. I also discovered the, um, the blue gem. Yep, I already had a blue gem. Okay, well, shotgun shells looking pretty delicious right now. Be free. That's nice. That's real nice. With my beautiful shadow manipulator down, I made my first of many dark swords. It was no Cutlass Supreme, but eh. Anyway. Are you kidding me? I also got rid of the unwanted house guest. On day 50, I got another insemination point. Alright, you know what? This might be like a waste, but I'm really curious about how much more damage I'll do. Uh, so... 96? Oh my gosh. I mean, I know it's a specific enemy, but still. I was really putting tree guards in their place now. Did they change this recipe? Thank goodness that gives me four. Okay. The floor on my base was officially done. Wow, look at how nice that looks now. Get that stupid yellow filter off my screen. I also got to work on an ice flingo since I'm not a huge fan of having my base spontaneously combusting into flames, but to each their own I guess. On day 51, I got a flingo put into place, and I felt a lot better about going into summer. <laughs> and I begrudgingly started getting some pierogi up and running. Why is it always this one? Day 52, I spent the day going insane and fighting shadow dudes so that I could make more dark swords. Haha! -ha. Cult of the Lamb crossover. There was also frog rain, because why not really? Ho ho ho! Only one big dragon fruit. It's sad to see. Why did I do that? Really? You're just gonna hide in the dragon fruit? When it came to dragon fruit, I was sitting pretty. Day 53, I was swimming in dark swords. And why am I getting all these uh, dark swords? <laughs> uh, anyway. Stale meat. That's what they called me in high school. I was cooking both figuratively and literally, because I was preparing for something a little crazy. I won't tell you what though, because the haters might try to stop me. On day 54, I finally delved into the caves for the first time. Yeah, on, on day 54. I like to take my time, if you can't tell. I did come back up to make a lantern though. Make some hay walls while I'm at it, you know. I'm feeling real safe now. I also witnessed a hate crime. Then I spent all day just exploring the caves. Ah, my screen was zoomed in. Okay, that makes more sense. I was wondering why I was up close and personal with Woody. That made me a little bit uncomfortable. Day 55, I explored the caves even more. You know, want to see something really funny? Goose mode was actually really good here, since it was basically free moggles. Oh, hey. That's nice. Oh! Okay. Oh, tentacle. 
Gross. By which I mean intriguing. Hmm. Eventually, I found the ruins, and this was just what I was looking for. Yeah, we are getting close. In fact, I would say we're so close we're right inside of it. If I could be so bold. And in the middle of a nightmare phase. Okay, well, that's bad. Another hoser? I, I don't even know what you mean. Are you talking like the dude that sang Take Me to Church, or... Just chill here for a bit. Alright, so, the ruin's right here, and my house is right there. It's a little bit of a walk, if I'm being honest. On day 56, I spent a good amount of time just waiting for the nightmare phase to end, because nightmare monkeys scare me, and they should scare you too. Okay, hello. You've missed just a little bit. And on the way back, I came across the nightmare wear pig. Oh uh, well, nightmare wear pig is here, I guess. Good for him, good for him. I wasn't quite ready for the ruins right now, but I will be soon. Don't worry, I didn't forget about Hutch, I just left him. Alright, I'm ready for the CBT whenever I get to the surface. Oh yeah, it's also summer, so heat and stuff. Day 57, I was in a rough spot because I didn't have any niter, which means no endothermic fire pit. I could put my thermal stone in a fridge, but that only gets me so far. I also realized my bees probably needed a flingo, unless I wanted flaming bees, which would be funny, but probably not a good thing. Okay, this is an emergency. Yeah, sure, lightning in summer. Who cares, really? Okay. While heading to the desert to look for the oasis, I repaired the moonstone, for whatever reason, and found the shadow pieces, which is nice. I wouldn't be messing with them anytime soon, but still nice. To my horror, the oasis was completely empty. I did find some goats, though. Their horns are used for weather paints, so the game really forced my hand here. It's just the way it is. I'm not, I'm just a messenger. Day 58. I guess Antlion isn't here either. By the way, if you want to know where Antlion spawns, it's always in this little area where the ground looks like this. Really? Hmm, okay, we have a quadruple Mac Tusk world. By the way, it just started raining outside, so I apologize if you can hear any of that. People like to hear rain in ASMR, right? This would be a perfect time to start recording. I want it to be authentic, you know? Like, I would never add in rain sound effects. It needs to be raining when I do it. I really gotta stop talking about ASMR. Anyway, I got the niter I needed for that endothermic pit. You ate a whole bird? What is wrong with you? Sheesh. <laughs> Excuse me. On day 59, the sandstorm was here, and there was actually water in the oasis. So I fished for the desert goggles. Alright, let's try and get lucky. Daft Punk? No way. There was also some new Cult of the Lamb stuff added in the last update that you could get from fishing here, but I didn't get lucky. Okay. I need the fashion goggles first. Yeah, okay. That's that's fair. Uh, I forgot to make the goggles. That's not good. The dogs came to cram my style, but I guess they forgot that I got that dog in me. So it wasn't really a problem. What was a problem, though, was burning to death. So I stood under a tree. On day 60, I got another erection point. Let's regenerate health, I think. That'll be good. I don't know. I've never had it before. It'll probably be good. I actually made the goggles this time, and it was time to get ready for Antlion. I wasn't even going to give her a chance. I was going to evict her just as fast as she got here. Oh, and a chest caught on fire, I guess. Hey, this is an emergency, by the way. Uh, I guess emergency mode means you don't turn on. Okay, good to know. On day 61, there was still some prep work to be done in regards to Mrs. Antlion. You're gonna notice there are a lot of prep days, but hey, you know what? 
You gotta prep when you cook as hard as I do. I also made a sewing kit for my eyebrella. And if you don't know, the eyebrow not only keeps you completely dry, but it provides a ton of heat insulation, and I didn't really feel like losing it. Also really glad I made this flingo, cause yeesh. But at this point, I was ready, so I grabbed my thermal stones and made my way over. Hi bestie. How's it going? What? So apparently the new lamb idol comes from giving the red crown to the antlion, which you fish up out of the oasis. Unfortunately, I don't want to do that. So, I'm I'm sorry, cult of the lamb fans. Uh, we, we're not eating good today. On day 62, I went down on antlion. Let me out of here. Hey, quit that. What are you you're throwing so hard right now? Whatever, man. The fight was pretty easy. Antlion is definitely one of the easiest bosses in this game. I also got a Turf Razor Hell blueprint that I think is new. Shake things up by getting rid of old turf. Uh, you're you're telling the story. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Whoa, lazy deserter. That is so useful to me with all of my friends. I grabbed some junk and headed into the caves because I didn't have any time to waste. Summer is the perfect time to do this since you can't overheat in the caves and since antlion is less than living, I don't have to worry about boulders dropping on my noggin. Also, the bunnies weren't too happy with me about all the meat I was packing. Day 63, I said hi to the big pig guy, and it was hutch time. It's basically Cave Chester. Cool thing about hutch, though, is that if you put a light bulb in his inventory, he glows. What a guy, honestly. I could do without the wet slapping sounds, but... I guess it's fine. I made it to the ruins, just as it turned to day 64. And then on day 64, the nightmare phase started. So, I couldn't really do much but wait around. Screw you, man. No, no, no. Hutch! No! No! Hutch! You idiot! Save yourself! If you don't know what I'm talking about, the ruins has a nightmare cycle that goes through four phases. In the first phase, the calm phase, nothing happens. It's chill. In the second phase, the warning phase, some stuff starts to glow and the nightmare lights crack open a bit but nothing too zesty. This is basically the GTFO phase. The third phase is the, um, the nightmare phase. This is when nightmare creatures start spawning like crazy from nightmare lights, and all the monkeys turn into shadow spool monkeys and turn super aggressive. Bad stuff, basically. Then the last phase is the dawn phase, when everything starts winding down before going back into the calm phase. On another note, this is the labyrinth. Ooh. Oops. Oh no, these horrible spider webs that'll definitely come down if you walk over them. If only there were some sort of way around this. For some reason, walking on the edge of cobwebs doesn't count as walking on them. I guess their range is shorter than it looks. But anyway, it makes the labyrinth a pushover. Speaking of which, the labyrinth was super important because at the end of it lies a boss that I would need to fight. Once I got through it anyway. Ancient Guardian can wait. Now it's time for ruin activities. Hutch! Stop! Hutch! You're going to die! Hey man. Really? Aimbot? On to day 65. You may have noticed, there are a lot of damaged clockworks here. This place is just infested with them. They aren't any different from normal clockworks, luckily. They just look cool. Hutch. Self-preservation, dear. Good dodge, Hutch.
What? What, did you, what caused that? Good for you? Nice glow up, I guess? I don't, I don't know. Okay, so apparently, putting a glass cutter in Hutch's inventory transforms him into Fugu Hutch, which makes anything that attacks Hutch take damage. Also, while looking at Hutch on the wiki, I discover that his full name is Hutch Danglefish P.I., which is fantastic. Now, I already know what you're thinking, and yes, I checked Chester after that amazing discovery, and Chester's full name is Otto Von Chesterfield Esquire. Do with that information what you will. Upon trying to find some more ruins to explore, all of the monkeys started harassing Hutch and stealing things from him. I really thought I wouldn't have to deal with this anymore. You're just gonna have to stay here. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, it's, it's not you, it's me. Okay, I was about to say, there's no way you cucked me that bad. Okay. Okay, not a good time. Oh! Okay, well, there, there's that. Thank goodness I found the ancient pseudoscience station. I would need this if I wanted to access all of the ruin crafting recipes, which I did. I did have to take care of the bishops guarding it, though. Okay, we'll just leave all this stuff here. Yeah, I'm getting away from there. And, of course, as soon as I find something, the nightmare phase starts. It is what it is, I guess. On day 66, I spent the better part of the day getting my teeth kicked in by shadow creatures. It was really embarrassing, actually. There goes, like, two football helmets and, like, a bunch of pierogi. Skill issue, to be fair. After the phase finally ended, I headed to the labyrinth. This was a bad idea. Observe, if you will, the six stale pierogi. That's all I'm saying. Oh, shut up. On day 67, I looted the labyrinth a little. Most of the stuff here wasn't very good, honestly. You know what this is? I, uh, we're starting, okay. There's no heads up, I guess. I don't even know what to say about the train wreck that happens here, so I won't, but here it is. Give me a second. Okay, I, I told you to give me a second. Thanks. Oh my gosh. My my sword, where did you put it? Okay. I'm about to just moose it, honestly. Think I won't moose it? We're moosing it. What? What that? This fight went well into day 68. You guys know that meme that just says, I'm going to beat you to death? That's me right now. Okay, let's... let's calm. What are you trying to attack? He wasn't even able to be targeted whenever you targeted him. Okay. We're leaving. After all of that, I fled the Ancient Guardian fight, feeling like the biggest chump on the block. <sighs> okay, let's let's all calm down for a second. I think there's a moral to be learned from this story. Don't go to the ruins without Moggles. That was absolutely horrible. 
As far as like ruins adventures go, that I like I was actually like I I just want to apologize for that. It was looking like I might have to give up on Ancient Guardian and the ruins for now. Or would I? On day 69, I had a plan. Well, I'm a lot of things, but a quitter is something I'm not, I think. You see, my friends, I like to do this thing called a little bit of trolling. Just so you know, blue mushrooms eaten raw heal you by 20 health, but damage your sanity by 15. But if you cook them, you regain 10 sanity while losing 3 health. I was chopping and downing blue mushrooms all day. I should definitely be dead at this point. And on day 70, I got another elasticity point. Da. Uh, yes. Sheesh, yes, okay. Now I was back in the game with full health and a good handful of blue mushrooms, just in case. I went back to Ancient Guardian with a vengeance. I wasn't gonna let him embarrass me again, hopefully. If you're watching this video now, then I probably won. I definitely would have been too embarrassed to upload this if I lost. Ancient Guardian's about to get the whooping of his lifetime. If he regenerated all of his health, I'd take back everything I'm saying. Nope, he's still in his wimpy form. Oh, and that's why they call me Ashlox. Still does a lot of damage, man. It's not nice. Pillar scaffold blueprint. Excuse me? What? We all need some support. That doesn't tell me what you do. <laughs> nope. That loser was finally dead. That fight is not near as hard as I made it look. I assure you, I don't know what is wrong with me. I, it, sh it shouldn't have gone like that, but just bear with me. Anyway, the fight was well worth it. I got some decent stuff from it, I guess. But most importantly, I got the ancient key. On day 71, after that climactic fight, I celebrated by standing around and waiting for the cycle to end. That's what we call a major bag alert. Oh yeah, and I got a worm attack. Since hounds can't spawn underground, we get depth worms instead. Which are really easy to deal with, actually. Then, I made my way to the ancient science station because I was feeling crafty. And on day 72, I was... still on my way. Crazy. That is the singular time that is ever going to be used. I'm just juggling them like balls. I don't know why I said it like that. I didn't have a whole lot to work with since I really didn't explore the ruins that much. Having all of my healing food spoil was a bit disheartening honestly, but I would craft what I could. Yeah, I'm making our star color staff. Deconstruction staff, yeah. And then magic luminescence, obviously. Ah oh, man, I should have used that to make the fanciful explore. Eh, well, um, I'll make it next time. I was able to make most of the important stuff anyway. Unfortunately, I spent too long managing my inventory and what I wanted to keep, so a nightmare phase was starting once again. Day 73, you're gonna laugh. I waited out the nightmare phase. I'm still not taking my chances with the monkeys. And if you watched my shipwrecked video, then you know how I feel about the monkeys. I don't feel any affection towards them, to say the least. Rabbit! Die. Alright, I could keep going honestly, but I'm not trying to spend all of autumn down here. I was sick of caves at this point, and I'm sure you are too. So I headed back. On day 74, we are so back. Unfortunately, Hutch can't come with us. If you miss Hutch, comment. I love feet. It's a... What? What is that? Thanks for welcoming me back home. What was that? Yeah, so I don't know if the game still counted the full moon that happened while I was underground. But yeah, I really appreciate the hunger bar reset. 
Anyway, it was autumn now, and I was really happy to be on the surface. We're officially back. That was stressful. However, the stress is not over, not in the slightest. I literally have my Tamo Shanger on, man. Please, please, stop. On day 75, I planted all of my dragon fruit again, and I had a lot. And by me mass planting these, you can probably already tell it's going to be coming up soon. It's a boss. I don't mean to spoil, but it's it's a boss. Also, holy moly, jelly salad gives you a lot of sanity. And I have bees and lure plants like two feet away at all times. I hope I get long gloves again. I was really hoping for more of those. <gasps> wow, I can have a red rucksack instead of a blue one. Finally. I was wishing upon a star. Okay, you know what? We're not... On the verge anymore. Hmm. <laughs> I guess just add it to the pile. There you go. Oh gosh, it's been like a week since I last recorded. What was I doing? I remember what I was doing. Don't even worry about it. Just yanking your chain. I'll figure out what I'm doing in the script and then I'll just tell you there. We can cut to the, the narrating now. Day 76, I had Dragonfly on my mind in a platonic way. For now, anyway. Unfortunately, Dragonfly is a bit demanding, so she requires a bit more prep than the other bosses do. I love the fruit fly. love this little guy. I like a WX's examination quote better, though. Oh, I'm gonna need a lot of stone. Oh, gosh. The first thing I needed was rock walls, and I was fresh out of rocks. I refuse to tap into my stone fruit supply because I'm too prideful, so it was mining time. Whoa, where'd all this stuff come from? I'm just kidding. I'm just goofing. Don't worry, I'm just goofing. How many of you are there? Hey, drop. Drop it. Thanks. On day 77, I ended up getting rocks all day. I just shed a single tear for that rock. So I had a lot. These would probably run out pretty quick, honestly, but it was a good amount. Oh my gosh, really? You might as well spit in my mouth. Huh? You get what you deserve. Sometimes you get what you don't deserve. It's a cruel and unfair world we live in, but the friendships we make are what makes it worth it. I'm just kind of chill, kind of laid back, a little bit mysterious, but also cool at the same time. You know, I, I just take life at my own pace. I think that's important. Day 78, I don't know what I was doing, but I seem to really be enjoying myself, so that's nice. We're rich. Who's making... Oh, I didn't even want you to do that, but hey, you know, feel free. Why, why are y'all doing that though? Oh my goodness. Oh, you better quit that, mister. We are so up. We are so back. This is about to be the easiest boss fight of my life. 27,500 health what? Nothing. Nothing. Got a nice little community going here. Don't do that in front of me again. On day 79, I actually started being productive. Alright, it's time to start setting this up a bit. That's two cut stone each? Oh gosh, okay. Just bleed me dry, I guess. I keep getting comments about my inventory management. Don't worry about it. It works for me, okay? I wonder if Woody's having any adverse effects from all those mushrooms he ate. Like, he, he shouldn't be alive right now. After getting what I thought I needed, I went to the desert to start setting things up. Beats walking. Alright, where's the fine gal at? Oh, there she is. Unluckily for me, the place I wanted to build in had this goofball. So, you know. On day 80, I got another inscription point, and the goofball politely left. Are we thinking the, uh, planar punch? The special move? Now, unfortunately, I ended up building my fight area, um, very badly. You'll see why this doesn't work later, but there are a few little mishaps that kind of cause some huge issues. I guess Bearger's just on vacation. 
So I've been doing some thinking, which is a bit unusual. And I, I could make my base look a little bit nicer, I'm not gonna lie. <gasps> wow! Finally, I can look like a schizophrenic. Actually a good item skin? That's crazy. On day 81, I started crafting what I needed for the fight. You know, armor and stuff. How well do you think I can do this fight? We're gonna see. Oh, I'm gonna need a lot of sticks. Okay. My dragon fruit were about ready to harvest, and yeah, I would need a lot of sticks. Because dragon fruit pie, which is um what I'm what I'm using for healing, I, I you could probably infer that, um, can be made with one fruit and three twigs. Don't know how that works, but whatever. Alright, time to mass produce the most confusing recipe ever. Additionally, I ended up with more dragon fruit seeds than I started with. People who like dragon fruit will argue with you so much saying it tastes good. If you ever tell them it doesn't taste like much, they're just like, you just haven't had a good one. Uh, I, I'm starting to not believe them, if I'm being honest. I tried to do research for this bit because I didn't want to look stupid, but the only thing I found out is that apparently eating too much red dragon fruit can turn your pee red. That wasn't what I was looking for, but I'll take it. Day 82, I replanted my dragon fruit, and it's a good thing that I did. Then I was cooking all day, and running through my twig supply, honestly. Think Beardger's ever gonna come around? He wasn't gonna come around. My bird died. By the end of the day, I was ready. Sorta. Am I forgetting something? Ah, yeah, the pan flute. That's... Oh. And all of my dragon fruit, you know. Did I grab the pan flute? As you'll recall, I in fact did not grab the pan flute. Day 83, I got the pan flute. Yeah, I'm feeling real silly right now. Why are they so mean? I used my star caller staff to place a little dwarf star because we can just do that now. And made a couple of adjustments to the arena. It was time to go down on Dragonfly. I'm nervous. It's not every day you get to meet a woman like Dragonfly that tries to kill you. Follow me. I didn't bring my Magiluminescence because I forgot, by the way. Okay. Whoop. Give me a second. Ah, uh, no. You're gonna fly away. Okay. At least it was at the beginning. She was a bit shy, I guess, but that's kind of frustrating. Apparently, my fighting area is just on the cusp of her diagro range, so I would have to make sure to be careful. Can I get you at a good angle? Yeah, just like that. It became apparent at this point that a bit more speed would be nice. In hindsight, I should have made some cobble paths or something, but as her first larvae phase started, I instantly knew my wall was placed strong. Uh, okay. All right there, huh? Well, that's not fair. There you are. Hello, mother. But What? Really? I really don't know what to say about that. I don't have any idea how that could have been my fault. On day 84, it probably doesn't come as a surprise to you, but I was having a bit of trouble. It wasn't helpful that I was practically babysitting Dragonfly now, because I was hyper paranoid that she would just up and leave. Well into the fight, however, there was another issue, besides me running out of armor. Are y'all pushing each other through? Can we stop doing that? Yeah, my wall kinda sucked a little bit really badly. On day 85, there was another issue, obviously, besides me having a skill issue. I'm throwing, Dragonfly, leave me alone. That's the worst thing that could happen right now, by the way, just so you know. Really? Guys, please. It was pretty clear that this wasn't really feasible at this point. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna die. Dragonfly, you might want to go away. Oh. 
Okay. So, we've learned a lesson today. Um, I'm not that good at this game. <laughs> Lucy, shut up. I don't need this right now. Once again, I ran away like a coward. I was going to take me surviving another boss on one health as a sign from the heavens to um, humble myself. Lesson learned. Although, her flying away twice and a hound wave happening in the middle of it wasn't exactly super helpful. Guys, I'm a little fragile right now. Like, both mentally and physically. Give me a second. Let's just recoup for now. I was feeling pretty low at this point, but I wasn't down and out just yet. Oh yeah, remember when I said mandrakes aren't renewable? That was a bit of a half-truth. You can just use a deconstruction staff to recycle a low durability pan flute, so... Oh, day 86. This was gonna suck, but I started the process of getting everything back again that I had just spent, and more, because clearly what I had didn't cut it. And it was also clear that my fighting area needed some major fixing. It's okay guys, I've only fought Dragonfly like once before. Okay, I'm allowed to be bad at this. I'm coping so hard. Second thing's second. Um, this is horrible. Okay, fire, we're funny, I get it. I'm about to start crying. That should work. Seems about right. That should work, in theory. Day 87, you know me. Just collecting stuff. I also needed some papyrus for some new pan flutes. Since for the last fight, I basically played a flute solo. Wow, this is just what I needed to see. Coom. I'm so sorry I said that. I'm so deeply ashamed of myself. That was on camera. He caught that on camera. Dragonfly probably got that on camera, too. It's gonna go in her wrecked compilation on YouTube. I'm gonna have to make like a drama video about her or something. I need you to pity me. Can we get some pity subscribes, some pity likes? If it's not my fault, say Ashton, it's okay. I would let you sleep with your head in my lap. If it was my fault, don't say anything. Swell. You're going to serve my purposes, whether you like it or not. Cry some more. Think about what you've done, bird. So true. I don't know if that was a pun that was just really bad that I didn't get it, or a typo. Either way, think about what you've done. On day 88, I felt like raising some turf, if you catch my drift. Okay, well, automatically equipping that was not exactly what I wanted you to do, but thanks. I guess that tells us what that does. Okay. Oh, wait. Holy moly, that gives me an idea. Finally, I don't have a reason to be lazy. We're about to raise some turf, okay. If we're gonna be underprepared, we might as well overprepare too. I will not embarrass myself more than once, if I can help it anyway. Wow, lumberjack shirt, that's... How about, uh, I got something for you. Um, okay, well, that's... Okay, <laughs> yeah, now you're looking cute, Woody. How about the jammy shirt? Oh, yeah, the... The jammies are kind of looking good, aren't they? What color do you like, Woody? Red? I think you'd look nice in the green ones. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Aw, oh, he's such a sleepy boy. Come on, man. Why are you so eepy? Huh? Hey. Those aren't the pants I had equipped. When I say it's jammy time, it's jammy time. I don't care if you're starving. It's jammy time. Yeah, okay. There you go, have your midnight snack. I don't know what any of that was about, but I got to cooking again. Dragon fruit were ready too. Hopefully I won't waste them this time. If I did end up losing again, I was gonna look like the biggest doofus in stupid town. Glomer, why is it always in front of me? Do you have no sense of decency? And eh, we'll just get six football helmets. If this isn't enough armor, then I'm definitely the issue can't keep letting these things happen to me. Provided I am doing this in like 100 days and I'm rushing myself way more than I would usually for the sake of content. Because I need to be entertaining. I'm a YouTuber now. I need to do that. I just need to force myself to do everything. Everything is so unfun. I hate my life. I have imposter syndrome. It's so horrible. As if. Am I right? Day 89. 
I must be method acting for Walter White with all this cooking I'd be doing. I could be like your therapist and you're just crying about having imposter syndrome and I'd be like, Among Us? Is it like shock therapy? Ah, uh, wait, no, not... Okay. Shock therapy, I don't mean like literal. That's a whole nother debacle. I mean like... <laughs> like confusing someone kind of shock. You know, to the point where they like forget what they were sad about. People do that. Obviously, I I'm not talking about giving shock therapy to depressed people. Anyway, you get the point. Shut up. Oh, also, Berger just literally does not care. He's not here. Yeah, I guess me being in the caves broke the game because Berger never showed up, which really sucks, honestly. Are we fighting Claws this Christmas? Did I say Christmas? This winter. Oh my goodness. Yeah, are we fighting Claws this Christmas? Whatever. It's almost Christmas, everyone. If this isn't enough dragon fruit, I'll just donate my left testicle. Like, I, I can't take this anymore. Day 90, I made another crock pot, and then it was basically the same as the previous day. Just me being funny, unfortunately. Overprepared? I barely even know her. Zioys. I was putting in a good effort anyway. Whatever, moving on. After stumbling upon some rotten eggs that I guess the penguins had abandoned, I got the bright idea to use gunpowder on Dragonfly. Issue is, Dragonfly is immune to gunpowder. But I didn't know that. On day 91, I was looking for the no idea. Since tonight was a full moon and Dragonfly wasn't really an option. Now we're all sleepy. We're all eepy up here. Nom nom nom. Oh hey. Your horns still haven't grown in yet? What am I even here for? Yeah, okay, whatever. Wang! Here, have a mole. I started getting the things ready to go for Dragonfly. This time, it would be different. Maybe. Okay, we don't need the mole. Nom nom nom. Ah, well, we're chopping trees then. On day 92, I got another inspiration point and put it into faster gathering speed for some reason. Alright, let's go, buddy. It's me and you against the world. If I die this time, I'm just... I'm quitting. There will be no 100 days. Cool. What? I also made sure to check for a loot stash. You never know. As soon as I got to the dragonfly area, though, I realized I forgot my turf razor. So yeah. When I'm in a wasting time competition, my opponent is Ashlox. Oh my gosh. On day 93... Don't ask me why, but I looked for the sack again. I was really starting to look desperate at this point, and it's kind of embarrassing. Claws, you better show me your sack right now. Last chance to look at me, Hector. I didn't find it, though. I'll tell you that much. Hey, guys. Um, I hate to do this to you. That'll work. At least I got a few keys, though. On day 94, though... I came to my senses and decided to turn my attention to the woman right in front of me. Dragonfly was waiting for me. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, yeah, alright. Now then, it was time once again. But this time, I'd gone through character development. As people have been saying nonstop on social media lately, the previous loss was just my canon event. It was time to absolutely go down on Dragonfly. And you know what? There's really no way to overstate how much better it went this time. Okay, yeah, the movement makes it a bit easier. There's no way you're getting cold right now, Woody. Warm up, I guess. Hope that turf doesn't catch on fire now that I think about it. Hey, look at that. Well, yep, yeah, there goes my log suit. Let's not let that happen, please. I don't know how many Lara phases she's gonna do, but feel free. On day 95, the fight raged on. In case you haven't noticed, this fight takes a long time. Oh, 
That did nothing. Okay, well. Okay, could we... Thanks. That's a bit close. You really love doing that, don't you? Give birth. Yoch. Gotta be quick on that. You idiot. I can't believe you died to me. I did it. I killed Dragonfly. I guess. I don't know. That's what my notes say but it's followed by a question mark. Oh well, that's that. Crazy how much of a difference it makes when you actually prepare properly. Now I could enjoy my spoils, including a scaled furnace blueprint and scales, which I would duplicate eventually. And on day 96, I looked for the stash again. Listen, I don't have an addiction. I could stop looking anytime I want. I just don't want to stop. I mean, I had so much dragon pie left, I figured I might as well try to find it. Um, but I, I, I didn't find it. On day 97, you may be surprised to hear this, but I was still looking for the stash. Is this starting to look sad? Be honest. Hit that like and subscribe button if you're deeply ashamed of me. Also, I summoned a dwarf star in the middle of the forest, because I'm rich and I can just do that. On day 98, I got fed up with this whole loot stash fantasy. This one-sided relationship just wasn't working. Instead, I set my eye on the eye. I can't have claws, I'll have to settle for something else. But I forgot about this, didn't you? I did. I just now remembered. Oh, you harvest fast. Wow. It's that Canadian energy. Getting the terrarium was pretty easy, since all the pigs were asleep. Why is everything always asleep? Has anyone else noticed this? Is this going to be a bad idea? Faux show. Sure. Okay. You ain't from Michigan if you've never done this before. All right, Woody, hope you're ready for this. It's moose mode time. Oh, wow. It was time to go beast mode on this fool, and they weren't lying. That planar punch does damage, and being able to actually stop mid-charge now made dodging actually possible. I was kind of embarrassing the Eye of Terror a bit. I had to wallop you. He's just looking at me. Come at me, man. Yeah? Watch this. Huh? Nothing to say about that, huh? Easiest eye fight of my life. Then I started going ham on everything around me for some reason. Day 99, I was just picking fights with the whole block, honestly. Come here. Custard. Knock it off. Spider Queen. Why not? I was absolutely gooning at this point. This is an example of how power corrupts people. I should probably stop. <laughs> Unfortunately, my fun had to come to an end. No more moose mode. So, I gathered my things and got going. Real beaut, ain't she? You have some weird kinks, man. I don't think so. Day 100, it was time to wind down. It had been a long 100 days, honestly. I got to work on making statues to commemorate all the progress I've made during these 100 days. I'm sure I could have played more efficiently and killed more bosses, but I had fun regardless. Although, it would have been nice if bears respawned in. That kind of blows. Anywho, I started getting all the statues lined up in a photogenic way. This will go on the YouTube community post. On day 101, it was family picture time, and I got the gang together for a quick snap. I wish Hutch could be here, but I'm sure he's got the caves on lockdown. Alright, is everybody posted up? Get ready. Oh, sorry for pushing you. Yeah, don't worry about it. No, that's not cool enough. What do you need to do the cool one? There we go. Perfect. Just like that. 
Okay, well, that's enough of that. I'll see you in the 200 days video. Whoop. And that'll be it for this 100 days. This was probably one of the most fun recording sessions to do, mainly because I just really enjoy Don't Starve Together. Uh, but I was honestly itching to get back into it and test out some of the new stuff that had been added. I just checked like the other day and it's been so long that it took me to make this video that I saw another update beta is coming out. So that's ridiculous. Anyway, I'm definitely going to be continuing this in another video. I don't know when that'll be, uh, but it'll be. Although I'd like to do some more live streams and one-off content. If you don't know, I'm in college, which is cringe, right? So uh, these longer videos and recordings are a bit difficult to fit in and get out. So for the sake of uploading more consistently, I might take a bit of a break from the 100 days videos. Also, I like diversity and 100 days may start getting stale. Also, also, I'm hoping to upgrade my PC soon, which will open up a ton of options as far as content goes. There are honestly a lot of games and challenges I've been planning to do for a while, but like I, I can't do them just because either my computer's not good enough or I don't have the storage space for it. So look forward to that, I guess. Anyway, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to like and subscribe. Please, please like, please, please do it for me. And I'll see you later. Very well, do you? Uh, Did you just share it? Uh,